Good afternoon, Slush. My name is Bo Malmberg, and I'm the chairman and CEO of Altum Technologies. Fouling is currently one of the biggest issues globally. It's causing about 2.5% of the global CO2 emissions. That equals the emissions of 272 coal plants, or over 200 million cars. On top of that, lots of chemicals, which are extremely hazardous, are being used to prevent it and to clean it. Fouling is the dirt that gets stuck into the industrial processes, so within pipelines, tanks, heat exchangers, and so forth. It's creating huge issues for the operators because they need to clean it, they get bad quality product, or they need to stop the process totally. We know that five more days for a pulp and paper company would bring them over 100 million euros revenues per year. We are solving this issue by high power ultrasonic system that enables our customers to clean their processes without stopping it. It is externally applicable, so there is no need for any kind of change in the process or the equipment itself. In its heart, it's an AI solution with running on a cloud-based environment with the full IoT capabilities. It's modular like Lego, so we can stack them up based on the need and the customer environment. It's easy to install. Like an, you can, everybody here can actually pull down an IKEA catalog and fix the furniture at home. It's deep tech, but we made it an extremely user-friendly form. And here you can see how it actually works. So at the moment when the system goes on, the dirt starts getting off from the inside of the pipe. So the pipe was 500 millimeter pipe, so it's not a small pipe, and it was done in one minute. And ladies and gentlemen, we are the only company in the world that can do this. We're providing... Thank you, thank you. We're providing the solution with a clean tech as a service model. That means that the customers are paying a yearly subscription fee and they get the solution and our full service set, which is remote monitoring, uh, cleaning, optimization, and so forth. Last year, we were rewarded by GE as the best energy startup. This June, we released our first product, Altum PI, so that's commercially available. We already have done the first long-term contract for that particular solution. In our company, we have over 100 years of experience in ultratronics and international business. Here you can see the finding, founding team. In total, we're a team of 15 currently. One of the main brains behind it is Professor Hegstrom. He has his history in Harvard, Stanford, and CERN. He is one of the top five guys in the world regarding ultrasound. We are backed up by Lifeline Ventures and Tekes, which is quite common for the Finnish companies. We're seeking a 2.5 million investment to get the Altum PI out to Europe, ramp up our manufacturing and SCM so that we can respond to the demand and also reduce the cost of production. Also, we're working on getting our next software released, which is then going to be able to work with heat exchangers. So ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to join us in saving the planet and making a lot of money while doing that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, honorary judges, please let the seven minute grilling commence. <clears throat> yeah. 
So how is this done currently, and, uh, and, and can you quantify the advantage of your method versus the current way of doing this? And I'd also love for you to expand a little bit on about how there is an actual AI solution in this, and how does that play uh, in, in the context of things? OK, so currently it's done so that you run down the factory. You tear apart the process. You clean it with chemicals, or then you clean it manually with high pressure water, or actually scrubbing it. So labor intensive, you lose production time. Uh, regarding what's the savings, it's, well, as I said, for a pulp and paper company, 100 million a year. Uh, we work with a gold mine in Lapland. They're going to make about six million if they fully install in a year just by saving two days. And regarding what's AI in our system, uh, the system is going to be self-adaptable. So because there's different kind of uh, materials like steel, plastic, uh, carbon fiber pipes, and things like this. So it changes uh, the dynamics, how you direct the sound through the actual structure so that you get the power inside to clean it. And our system is going to be self-adaptable to that. It's also going to get feedback from uh, the customer's process. And it's going to be self-thinking that when I need to do it, it sees into the pipe. So I clean it only on those spots what are dirty. So saves energy also in the cleaning side, but just makes it much, much more easier to do. Thank you. Oh. Hi. Thank Hi. you for your presentation. That was super interesting. Thank you. My question is on the go-to-market. Yes. What is your go-to-market? Uh, currently, we are running about 20 pilots here in Finland. Uh, we have converted, uh, I think, currently three of them as uh, subscriptions. And now we're going to do, we have already first uh, deals in, in Europe that we're going to start working on. And if you mean like how we're working towards the customers, so we have models like direct sales that we can do through our own network because we know a lot of the companies. Uh, we are going to utilize partners in certain uh, parts of the world where it's actually needed and it's the only way. But we're flexible, so we always want to do how the market behaves where we go not like it's our way, and everybody needs to go with that. Super, super fast. What, um, w what are your sales cycles like? Uh, sales cycles are between, I would say, from two months to half a year currently. But that's, that's because we usually we want to make the perfect match for, so we need to get a lot of information from the customers also. I thought it really interesting. Um, one, one of the things I wasn't clear on, though, is uh, the environmental issue is, is the material that's now, that you're cleaning out, right? Yes. But what your solution is uh, enabling these companies to do that more efficiently so they can keep their uh, operations running. Uh, is your solution doing anything with the actual problem? Are you helping solve, are you, uh, is this gonna help solve the environmental issue? Or is it just much more efficient to clean these pipes but we still got the same problem? Yeah, so uh, the environmental problem comes because, for example, in heat exchangers, you easily lose between 20 to 40 percent of the heat exchange rate when it's dirty. So when it's not dirty, you don't need to use heating that much, so you save in that point in CO2. Same as a pipeline, when you have fouling there, you need to run your pipes so it consumes more energy. And when you don't have that, so the CO2 levels are going to come down because it's just the, you don't need that much power. Got it. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. How, how about who is uh, operating? You are selling it as a service, but uh, then if, if the IoT side tells you that uh, something needs to be cleaned, is that a customer or is it your person or some service partner? No, it's, it's the system itself. So the system can be a mobile system so that the customer can put it from place to place, or it can be a fix because there's different kind of fouling cycles. It might be that the customer has a place that fouls in two days or in six months. But the system itself knows when to clean. So there is nothing that you need to go. We have full remote control, so we can start it also from our office if we want. 
Thank you. You also <laughs> mentioned that you have no competition. Yes. Uh, well, that's unlikely likely to stay that way, I imagine. <laughs> but uh, how do you... Uh, uh, how do you maintain a competitive advantage? And do you have some interesting IP uh, uh, that you can protect uh, in some clever way? Or do you have, are you relying simply on, uh, on just, you know, first to market and, and uh, the momentum that you have right now? Well, but like all of them. So we're, we have uh, patent spending. Uh, we use trade secrets and different kind of methods. But of course, we're the first one in the market. So we're sure that we're going to reach a sufficient part of the market for ourselves. And then we know that competition comes, but it's good. Then when you do something the first time in the world, everybody's asking that why no one has done it before. When you have competition, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's clear. They're doing it also. So in a sense, it's going to help us. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just wondering, in terms of the uh, the impact on the underlying equipment, does it impact on your on the life of the equipment? Is the novelty of ultrasonic? Does it, is it a positive uh, or a negative around the life of the underlying equipment that you're impacting? Uh, well, if if we think about pumps and places like that when they're clean, so their lifespan is going to go longer. Uh, our knowledge is how to get through the structure without actually affecting to the structure itself. So. It's, it's not going to do anything for a pipe or heat exchanger. Just thinking that's a very valuable element, not only the, uh, the maintenance and the downtime you're saving, but longevity of the underlying equipment is a good play. Yes, correct. All right, that, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. So, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank Let's you. give a really big round of applause to Altum Technology.